I'm James Andrews from Farmers Weekly and I'm with Tom Robinson who's an application specialist for Syngenta and he's going to show us how to set up your sprayer to do T2 sprays as quickly and efficiently as possible. So Tom, could you tell me a couple of the things that you can do to speed up your spray spraying at T2? I think the uh, uh, if I look at ways one can get more out of a sprayer at T2 um, you can look at water volumes, um, bringing them down helps. Uh, we can look at uh, product handling, so formulated products are easier to uh, and faster to mix than separate products. Um, correct choice of nozzles gives us more spray days and um, going faster means you'll cover more ground more quickly. Now what sort of water volume should, should people be using? Uh, I'm a big enthusiast for 100 litres a hectare. Um, traditional spray volumes have been 200 litres a hectare and that's what's on the label for most products because it's how they're developed. Um, with our Syngenta range of fungicides we actually get our best results at 100 litres a hectare so we would encourage people to use 100 litres a hectare as opposed to 200. Um, and how, how much time would people save by dropping from 200 to 100 litres? Typically if you drop, if you halve the water volume from uh, 200 litres a hectare down to 100 litres a hectare, you'll get about a third more output from a sprayer. And if we took a 3,000 litre farm sprayer, um, it might be working at 100 hectares a day um, at 200 litres a hectare, and it'll get 130 hectares a day um, out at 100 litres a hectare. So Tom, how can nozzle choice speed up your spraying? Um, Nozzle choice, essentially we've got conventional fan jets or air induction nozzles. First of all, an air induction nozzle cuts drift uh, dramatically by 75% and so that gives you more spray days. Um, typically, four more spray days in May and four more spray days in June. Secondly, um, with modern nozzle design, something like the Amistar nozzle, uh, they're specific for different forward speeds and um, the Amistar nozzle uh, we'll even up the spray, the original one, at 12 kilometres an hour by having a small backward angle on it that matches the forward speed. And recently we've introduced, for farmers who want to go faster, um, the Go Faster Amistar nozzle, which has a slightly bigger angle on it to counteract faster forward speeds of 16 to 18 kilometres an hour. Um, and if you increase your forward speed from a, an original 12 kilometres an hour, to 16 kilometres an hour, typically you'll get another 30 hectares of spraying in, in a day. And how can you speed up filling time when you're in the yard? Um, the main things for speeding up filling time, um, uh, most people can get the water in the sprayer quite quickly, so it's, it's how you handle the chemical. And the things that will make a difference, uh, are the fewer packs you have to open, um, so that helps. And if we have big packs, products in 10 litre containers, that's good and formulated products mean there's less containers to open um, and typically uh, that'll save you 10 minutes. Um, the other thing that makes a big difference is getting rid of foil seals on packs and that will subtract another five minutes from your um, typical filling time. And can you do anything to make the area you're filling in more efficient and, and improve the way that you operate? You should never have containers on the ground because they're easy to kick over so there should be a table there and the filling area that you're operating from and if you're mixing chemicals or if you're part measuring chemicals um, you should always use a jug not a measuring cylinder because a measuring cylinder is easy to kick over. The other thing that's going to waste time is rinsing containers out and so a modern can rinse system uh, makes a big difference to how quickly you can clean your containers. Oh and remember James that the best clean you get is with the recirculating water. Um, so whatever rinse system you use, you should have a double one. First rinse with recirculating water and second rinse with the final bit of clean water as you're filling the sprayer up. 